Edinburgh is, is a city of two hearts. When people come under that bridge, they're coming in to, to Pilt out. I didn't want to make a film about the community in North Edinburgh. The well, key issues are poverty. Mental, uh, mental health is a big issue. I, I see it, I see it. Oh, I would say the last maybe 10 years, I've really noticed how, how bad. For all the things that happened in the centre of the town, there's very few of that here. <laughs> there's nothing to do. They used to have uh, galas here. Remember? The disco. We had the disco every Friday. Uh, you had everything. Had everything, everything. All day trips, uh, raffle. Raffle. These are the joyful things. These are the things that make people human. I think we need to bring that back. Yeah, really, everybody looked after each other. And hopefully there will be changes, but uh, I can't see it anything soon. This is about rebuilding. That the community here is a real community. You seem to do quite a lot of things in the community. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of joy in it. I've always been a community activist. We want a different Scotland. One that cares for people. You are going to make millions of people homeless. You're that back. You can clap that if you want. Well, thank you very much indeed. <clears throat> We had to fight for everything in our area. And that's true all the, the working class areas across Edinburgh. We created a thing called Video and Pilton, which was taking an idea of a film workshop. In some of the older films, you can hear the, the ordinary people. They were downtrodden, but they had a voice, and we were able to show that voice. We are all going to stick together and let them know that we won't be moved. What's causing this then? Dampness. <laughs> People have, have been made to feel that it's their fault and they don't even bother complaining about dampness. Well, I'm ashamed to bring people in here. Well, you worked at the Millennium Centre long. Yep, fought to get a boat. We did the upper community centre for murals. Right. You had to go to Craig Royce and oh, I've got community centre. I just bought them all for you. Thanks, Peter. I have to go take some for miles. Oh, no, that was what murals was famous for. Mm -hmm. Through all the stuff that we got involved with, from chasing neo Nazis out to the poverty side, of it. everything was done, and it, and it really stemmed for a lot of good activists and murals. Muris has seen so many changes over all the years anyway. Knocking down the whole community and then up to rebuild. And then they've done it again. And they knocked it down and they rebuilt and then they've done it again. But at the same time, you've lost all your community activists because they were decanted because of the rebuilds as well. But it's got worse now than what it was when I was born and bred in Muriel's Green. But we'll get there, we'll keep fighting. If you believe in something, you've actually just got to stand up and do it. I wanted a project that would be run by the community, the staff would be for the community. The left, that's low-income families together. People for this area are built. It's just a case we have to try and do things that are free. Muirhouse had galas, Peter A for years, and it was always big parades, there was Muirhouse Gala. I mean, you're talking like for when I was a kid, there was Muirhouse Gala. It was brilliant, and we've brought it for years. Is there a lot to do in Pilton around here? No. There's no. Nothing. So this is like once in a once a year, is it? Once a year, I. And we've got memories of the past. People's living memories. People here with their grannies and their parents who used to go to galas and used to go to festivals. And people say, oh, I remember that, and I remember this. I think we need to bring that back. We're organising this um, community day, the festival, right here in this park. So Willie's a big character in the area, and he's always been involved in festivals and galas, but I'm talking when I was aware. We need to tell anybody and everybody. If it is, they'll do all that organisation, I'll get the people. You will be here. Okay. 
we're, we're hopefully catering for a thousand plus. That's probably what, six by nine metres. Yeah, lots of local flyering, 7,000 local households. We'll need to think about the volunteers How in that. How many people will turn up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we have, we have created it, people will turn up. If, if people are getting on the stage, they've got to be there on time, I'll, we'll be calling everybody and, and trying to squeeze it all in. I've been right, I've been like 20 minutes for three songs. Yeah. 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 So let's imagine, you know, like imagine you're on stage now, imagine like that field. Everyone's clapping, everyone's crying, everyone's so excited. And then the music will start. <laughs> We've got a youth club here in Muirhouse where it's a drop-in club. What, what it means to each individual person to get up on stage is different, but I have certainly seen young people who've got on stage um, over the years and been absolutely transformed because suddenly like being heard and being seen that strongly can really make you change the way you think about yourself. Yeah. Quite no, excited. No, Once it's done, it'll be fine. <laughs> we just need to take a deep breath and, and yeah. do our best, basically. And show everyone what we're here for. It's made me confident. get me more confidence in the mic because when I used to sing, I used to go like real quiet. Well, music brings me joy. It was quite lonely in the pandemic because um, family issues happened and also there was hardly any music. I'm mum, she had a really, really crap time during COVID. My dad died and it's been a wee release for you, hasn't it? Music and things like that. Eh? You've yeah. been able to take some of your frustrations out in the drums, haven't you? Yeah. It's been great. It's mad because I used to be involved in all the community galas down this way when I was a yeah. child. So it's nice to see her living out some of the yeah. things that I used to do. Eh? So you right, later. Are you coming <laughs> to the festival? <laughs> now, um, we're going to go to the, to the bridge. For me, it's trying to win the argument that it's not a, a, just a day event. It's more than that. It's about rebuilding. North Edinburgh came together and had this huge event. You know the International Festival? We've now got lots of staff. We've now got thousands and millions of pounds. The festival will be what people will remember about 2022. to be bigger really, yeah. The banners. Yeah. Well we've got lots of work to be done this week. Where is the stuff? There, where they're having it. We've done At so this. much. Like my daughter comes from school, and and I, like the last three weeks, two weeks, she comes from school, and I'm just like, here, leaflets. Let's go that way. You go that way. I go. Just trying to get people. I hope people come out. Are you coming? You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Just that the women that come to this project face are varied. People have come from war-torn countries. Other women have been here for so long, but because they don't speak the language, then they, they are having these social isolation issues. If you don't speak a language, you can't integrate into the community. And, and also because the community isn't necessarily trying to reach out to them. In this country especially, and certainly for the last couple of years, we've, there's been very strong anti-migrant rhetoric. The space happens every Friday. It's just enough time for mothers to drop kids off, come in here and unwind for a couple of hours before taking the kids away and starting the weekend again. I like this group. He saved me from very sad moments. And she's making me to feel, again, woman and mom. Because I have an autistic son. What? It was very hard for me. I never have my time until this group is started. To help moms or women was they have uh, no families. I don't have just children here. 
all these women, they have problems. So the way we ended up um, involved in the festival is, I was a bit taken aback by the fact that I was the only black person at the launch, black woman, along with uh, the chairperson of our board, a black man. That's already saying something about inclusion, you know. I went to go and find, I think, the organizer. And this gentleman was a very nice gentleman and he just sort of put his hands up immediately and he went, yes, you're right. It does look a bit of a mess. I am going to admit to that and, and put it down as a failure because, yeah, it's, it's not a true representation of what the community is. We were asked to go on to the planning committee. We're looking forward to being a part of it. Tomorrow, huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, Come find us. We've got a stall. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? Okay. there's going to be a whole learning curve. We're relearning how to act as a community as, as far as a festival or a gala. We have got people who have done tremendous work here um, and we acknowledge them. By looking at that banner, can you tell there's a festival on a Saturday? No. So we're going to take it down and put up, hopefully, a second banner. It's a, bit, a wee bit scrunched, but it's great. Yeah, that's right. that's what we need. That's better than that one. That's yeah. Good. We are doing our props for our parade that the kids chose under the sea, yeah. so it's our kids' input into the parade. That is amazing. I've got the perfect idea for it. So there's five, five of the staff, and well, two of the volunteers and three staff chased as pirates as well. A baggy tricks. Peter, oh. you all get nice pirates? I get a purple octopus. <laughs> that's no fair, eh? That's no fair. Yeah. 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 We've got 58 marquees in this field that are going to be filled with local organisations saying, look at us, we need you and you need us. Ready to go? Full volume. OK. One, two, three, C. You better deliver, I will come to the door. Right, I'll leave you up. have worked so hard on this and you are so passionate and talented. It'll be interesting to see uh, who turns up. I mean, we've done a lot of work. And I'll be down there on Saturday. Like, I'd, it's great, it's great they're putting on a community event, but who's it aimed at? What's going to come for that? Are people going to get employment? Is there going to be any more opportunities for young people to get out of crime? Is there going to be opportunities for families to do anything long term? Or is it just a one day event? It's actually quite exciting because I've not had anything like this for a while, so it's going to be good to get like, the whole community together, right? Eh? On in the parade, all these big animals and everything that they make for the gala parade. Playing in their musical instruments, yeah, their musical drums, and their, I mean, it really is all about it's for to get the kids a, a good time. The festivals are going to take away that these problems. Some questions have big answers. This is a wee answer to our immediate. On that day, people are going to forget the problems. Hopefully. I do have a uh, nervous, which is not something that I n normally suffer for, Aye. but I definitely got it this morning. So somebody's bolted the gate, and that'll do it. You know, there's one or two wee things happening that are a kind of indication that things could go <laughs> drast drastically wrong. Come on, Emma, pass. No, get that one, get that one. This one. Aye, get that one. Come to do some filming. Three community filmmakers yeah. and John Fay the Guardian. Right. All right. Quite a fair few people. All right. 
How are you guys feeling about today? Uh, optimistic. Yeah. Weather's not looking too bad. Sun could come out. Are you guys having fun with it? I think so. feel like you, like that morning energy of like, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's where I am. Curious. Oh, they come and have a look at it. That's good. Do you know if we have to squish on that stage? I will go mad. That'll be fine. That's you'll be up here, like about right here. Imagine. And then the. The weather forecast said it wasn't going to be... But more rain now than the weather forecast. Yeah. yeah. If it just stays like this, I'll be fine. It'll not put people off, but I'll put some off. Uh, is everyone going to come? Is the weather going to clear up? We said, make a festival, people come. And that was bro. Get on the camera. Oh. Well done. Brilliant. This is crazy. One of the biggest things I've watched it, other than a lot of my concert in 2017. Hey, right, let's get it. the party going. Yeah. Good people here. We deserve these we things. Walked up for two years. Everybody's got to come out and enjoy themselves with it, so there's so many ideas about what living round here means. Yeah. So much focus on the antisocial behaviour, the motorbikes, cars and things like that. And just to see that we're all families and we all do want better for the area and it's nice to see all the efforts that everyone's put in today. It's really nice. First time coming here, but it's lovely. Yeah. We are happy to have this. If we can repeat, we will be very happy for the children. Thank you. So it's on Fridays if you ever want to drop it in the old country. Uh, I'm making another flower. Last night. <laughs> I am lucky because I have Esperanza. Finally, something for me. 
not just for children. Then come off the front, and then we'll come on the back. Right? I'm scared myself. Nah, I'm scared. That's the lies. I'm scared myself. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Tinderbox Tuesday. This is what we're needing, and this is what a lot of us miss, because we had all this when I was a bairn, and it was always something to look forward to, there was always clubs, groups and all that. It matters big time. We just need to do it more often so that the people get used to it again. Can I think about the future, I know. I actually think about the future now. <laughs> Ken, it's took a long time. It's took a long time for me to actually start getting a life together, Ken. Just over a year ago, I just wanted to die. I was forever, I ended up on Street Valley, um, no touch of Valium in over a year, Ken, come off the methadone, all things like that. It can be done. It can be done. I'm excited. I'm excited, Ken. Aye, it's I'm... took a long time. It's took a long time for me to actually start getting a life together, Ken. So if it wasn't for Pauline giving me the opportunity to do the volunteering, I wouldn't be where I am now. And that was just over a year ago. So, Ken, I'm starting to feel stronger and more uh, happier within myself and things like that. And I, I really do put that down to Pauline. I get a bit emotional, sorry, I'm not going to. But I thank her for that. How does it feel to see like Eve, all the hard work you've put in come to this? Well, it's good. Brilliant. It's emotional. Because I know that what, what's happening today it's a memory that everybody's had. They remember when they marched through Muir House, when people came here and went to stalls and, and were fed and... Brilliant. Just great. People say to me that there's no, commu there's no community activists anymore. I said, no, there, there is. In fact, there's probably mayor. Next year's festival will be early, based around trying to get people active in it. We need to get new people. Oh, I created that festival in 22. So that's going to be really important for people to have ownership. I think we've shown and we've got lots of local people involved. It needs to be their festival. 